Now, today we want to talk about IndyCarb. Now, bear in mind that we have several chemistries on the market, and this, of course, represents one of our flagship brands. IndyCarb is an insecticide. Now, it's a broad spectrum insecticide that is applied foliarly to control lepidopterans or caterpillars or other sucking or piercing insects. Now, how does IndyCarb work? why should you apply indicarb why should you select such a chemistry is the focus of today's conversation now indicarb works by penetrating or it works on contact so once it comes in contact with the insects that are present or if they should visit the plant then and there it will be effective it works by blocking the sodium channels of the nervous system which is cause which causes paralysis cessation or stopping of feeding and then the insect dies over time now the advantages of using this product is that it's a superior chemistry and as you would see in our upcoming video presentations where we put this product to the test in the field now it works i must say on both the adults the larvae as well as eggs now the adults will be our moths that are flying around the caterpillars, whether they are from first to the third instar, or if the eggs are present. So it has what you call ovicidal properties. It also works by what you call translaminar action, meaning it absorbs through the plant system or through the leaves in particular. So if the eggs are beneath the surface, the insects, of course, once they start feeding, they will be impacted. It starts working within an hour after application and also i must note it is also rain fast what does that mean it simply means that once you've applied it it won't be washed off or eroded by water and so this provides an extended coverage so the farmers can benefit from the process so farmers hold these thoughts in mind as we continue our presentation now another key factor or advantage is that it has a low application rate so you're getting more value for the dollar in other words this low application rate will require you say you're doing a drum mixture a smaller quantity to mix a larger volume and thereby you'll find the the returns on your investment now bear in mind too that it's a part of what we call our res resistant management program where where other insect pests will become tolerant or resistant to certain classes of pesticides indicarb does not offer that so once you apply you can expect death of the caterpillars you can expect a reduction in the population of your adults and you can also expect a reduction in the eggs that are present now i must mention to you also that it is consistent over various temperatures while some chemistries cannot be applied during the warmer temperatures, Indicarb, of course, is working seven days a week, no time needed, whether it be late afternoon or in the morning. You, whenever you apply, that's when you get your control. Now, a point to note here is that it has a wide range of crops that it actually can be used on. Crops such as cabbage, your lettuce, your dasheen, um, your tomatoes, your sweet peppers, you name it, Indicarb can be utilized. Now it controls, as I mentioned, varying types of insects. So in cases of budworms, so should you be planting like crops such as cassava, you generally find budworms right in the tips and they tend to eat out that central growing point which stunts the plant. Indicarb can be applied. In cases of your cabbage or your cauliflower or broccoli, it controls what is called your loopers. These are, of course, larvae or worms that when they crawl, they tend to form a loop as they move across. Of course, diamond buck moth at all stages are controlled. So whether you have it in, in terms of your adults, your eggs, or the larvae feeding, you can have control. Now, finally, in instances where you have other soft body insects such as your aphids or your thrips bear in mind it can be used to control these pests 
in instances where you have tomatoes or sweet pepper and the leaf miners are your problem, then of course, pull for IndyCarb. You'll get excellent results. And since recent, we've also been exploring it in the control of thrips, so whether they be western flower thrips or thrips that I find in your, in your metal watermelons or on your sweet peppers, IndyCarb is your first choice. Now, we've found in instances where the dashin, or we've had many cases where dashin is affected by what is called the taro leaf hoppers. In recent times, we've applied the chemistry to these crops, and we've also found that we have excellent control. Now, you've had several reasons where you can utilize Indicarb. Now, I'd urgently stress to that, bearing in mind that you don't want to build resistance in your field. So should you be growing crops such as cabbage, you can also use car tracks either as a single application or with Indicarb so as to prevent any sort of buildup in terms of resistance. Additionally, we have products such as Mimic, which is an insect growth regulator that can also be used in your rotation schemes. So bear in mind farmers, that we rotate so as to prevent buildup separate and apart. Now we've been in the field on several weeks looking at how these products work and I must remind you that should you have the need for an agronomist on site we have 10 such persons right across the length and breadth of this island. We have in the western region Dale Smith who is accompanied by um, Aluda Shaw. You can of course contact those persons should you have problems in parishes such as Westmoreland, Hanover, St. James. In the western side, in the north, sorry, southwest, you have cases or individuals such as Sian Spence and Andre Rance, which are your field agronomists, yours truly, which works in Central, which is Clarendon and Manchester. And should you be in the, west, the eastern side, be it Portland, St. Mary, or even parishes in, well, in Paris of St. Anne, Dennis Lecky is your agronomist that is present in the field. And of course, in the eastern side, which is St. Thomas, reach out for John Oil Johnson. At this point in time, we're going to go for a short video presentation where you will see in the cab at work in the field. Guys, my name is Tariq Bennett, manager of New Gen Farming. We are located in Cobla, Manchester and we've been farming for about five years or more. We specialize mainly in vegetables, iceberg lettuce and romaine lettuce. About two months ago, we realized that there was a disease out in our fields. We tried our remedies, other chemicals, but they weren't effective. Mr. Parker from Hodgkin, Hodgkin Plant Limited came and he gave us Indicarb, Cycloplex and Bio20 to address the issue. Using the chemical about two to three weeks, we were able to see that there was some amount, there was control of the disease and that it was working effectively. I would recommend to farmers out there who are having problems with these strips Trips disease to use Indicarb, Cycloplex, and Bio20 to stop the problem. To be honest, of a field about 3,000 suckers or 3,000 plants, I can count on one hand the amount of lettuce that still have the still have the disease. So I can I can say that it does work and it is effective. I'm Patrick Blair, a farmer from Bagot. I'm currently in my farm store, that's Blair's farm store, that's situated in Bagot, Clarendon. I have a product, an insecticide, that I want every farmer to know. Its name is Indicar. It is very, very effective. Um, it's one of the most effective chemical that use on cabbage for the diamond mat bath. It gives you the best quality cabbage. I start using the Indicarb for about three to four months now. 
and since using the IndyCar, I get some good quality cabbage. Very, very excellent cabbage. And I want every farmer to know that this is the most effective insecticide for the diamond mat bat. It is the number one selling insecticide now in the farm store right here in Bagua. And I introduce it to many farmers. This is Damian Lati from Mace River, Clarendon. I'm a farmer. I plant cabbage, lettuce, pop chai, sweet pepper, sweet, sweet pepper, Irish potato. I've been growing cabbage for almost five years now. And this is one of my best results I ever had by using Indicarb. Indicarb control the worm, the bat, and the egg. Because as you can see, the cabbage are very clean and nice by using Indicarb. I have less stripping, that means more weight, more money in the pocket. So you save your money when you use Indicarb. Now, as I was saying, Mr. Bennett had an issue where we were called in to rectify. Now, knowing that IndyCarb is a powerful chemistry, we took into action. And of course, once you contact any of our agronomists, they are willing and ready to do demonstrations and to do trials to ensure that your crop can be a success. Now, having seen the issue before and recognized what it was, you know, we would have identified the insect pest being through and the fact that it's transmitting a virus which is causing this issue. And I must say to farmers, if you are noticing this in your field, a series of challenge of action needs to be taken. You know, field sanitation is one. So don't just be reliant on IndyCarb nonetheless. The field must be free from weeds, various other types of debris. So we took on this challenge, did an application of IndyCarb, which is just a teaspoon per gallon of water. By 20 was added so as to relieve the plant from stress and to increase growth and vigor, and so was Cytoplex. You know, being able to do one application, we saw the result almost three to four hours later. Remember I told you earlier that IndyCarb starts working upon application. These insect pests are, are, are living in the heart leaves. So uh, in picture number two, when we dissected the plant, we would have been able to say to him, this is the problem, this is what is causing it. Now, once we did the, the application, application, these are the results of what, what would have occurred. occurred. The, the plant started to regrow because the pest was no longer there to stunt it and to cause an issue. And we also saw that they were growing. It wasn't spreading to any other area, as the farmer would have noted in his video presentation. And of course, he was expecting about 500 pounds he would have been able to harvest more than that, given the fact that we applied in the carb with Bio 20, with Cytoplex. So should you be having this problem, farmers, growing lettuce in your kelly, your brown and your wherever you are, pull for in the carb. No, I must say to you that he would have benefited because no other plants were affected. We, of course, observe what is called the PHI or the pre-harvest interval, which is seven days. So seven days after you've applied the chemistry, you can no longer harvest. You can, have, you can go ahead and harvest, sorry. Now, Patrick Blair is a cabbage farmer. He grows lettuce and other crops. And, of course, Bogol is an area where a lot of these crops are growing. People want clean... Um, bite free cabbage you want something that can give you marketable yields the more you strip the cabbage lower the yield and so i suggested to mr blair let me do a demonstration using this chemistry given the fact that we know we know exactly what and how we can do it so we took to the field took an era and started the application and of course within a week or two you would have noticed the superiority in the product itself and this would have lent to him saying listen Mr. Parker let's just do the entire field let's take this on as a challenge out of that conversation 
he would have been able to start using IndyCarb on a wide scale. And of course, farmers in the area would have noticed the, 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 the kind and the quality of cabbage growing and would have been able to say, listen, what is it that is being used on this plot? How can we get access to it? And how can we, how should we use such a program? And of course, this information was shared through various types of activities, be it your field day or your demonstration. And of course, right there and then, other farmers began using it. He would have been able to just cut his cabbage from the field and pack it into his crate, little or no stripping whatsoever. And that's what you would have seen in our second video presentation. Now, you remember I told you earlier that the chemistry also controls adults, the larvae, which is the caterpillar itself, or the eggs. So once you're able to reduce the insect pest population by controlling them significantly, which is killing them, it simply means that you can grow a stress-free crop. Cabbage won't be filled with holes or nonetheless. And of course, the benefit to the farmer is that less stripping of the cabbage occurs. So you can literally just cut, pack it into your crates and move to market. And of course, this is the benefit of using in the carb. Be it mind that diamondback moth are very difficult to control, especially during the summer period or the dry period. We took on this challenge during the dry season. So it proves beyond a shadow of doubt that it definitely works. In the dry season, they will breed more rapidly. Their lifespan becomes shortened. And so when you do like an eight-day spray cycle, then you can have your control. And remember, as I said to you earlier, chemistry such as car tracks can be used in rotation. Of course, in the, uh, Mimic can also be used in rotation. So rather than to belabor the point of having to spray in the car weekly, you can, of course, use your weekly rotations. For Mr. Blair, he didn't bother even to use. He just sprayed every two weeks. And this, of course, again, is the superiority of the chemistry. To be assured and to know that I will not have any challenges during this period is something remarkable. Now, I must bring you to another issue facing our farmers. And this, of course, is taro leaf hoppers. It affects dasheen and, of course, it can cause significant reduction in the marketable yields because if the populations are high, it can cause death of the plant. Now, once the plant becomes overwhelmed, there's little or nothing that can be done. In our instance, we saw this as a need to step in and to say to our farmers, we can gain control. Now, we did a demonstration plot with Mr. Clayton Brown in Westmoreland, which is Chesterfield, and he was more than prepared to have us intervene, given the fact that this too is a challenge. So after see subsequent applications, we saw the population sizes going down. Now, if you should have dashing or you would have planted it, you can turn the leaves over to see if you see these, um, as the name suggests, leaf hoppers. So they, once you touch the leaves, they will just fly away or hop away. Now, we were able to clean up this area, literally, by applying it. So we found a challenge, took it on, and got real solutions. And because we are always in the field, we are in the know. We do these demonstrations and these trials to ensure that our chemistry is as and what it says. So when we say to you at the farm store level or at our um, distribution points, purchase in the carb, we know for certain that it will give you excellent control. And so if you look at the field here, the leaves are clean, little or no pesticide, seen, and the plant can grow healthy. This is testament to the fact that we intervened and used Indicarb. Now, you must be saying, how do we go about using Indicarb? We've been talking about, how do I go about applying this chemistry? Now, using your regular knapsack or your boom sprayers or whatever it is, Indicarb comes in three sizes. It comes in the largest, which is a 500 mil. It comes as a it comes as a 250 mil presentation, which is half this size, as well as a 100 mil. 
it is applied at 5 to 10 milliliters per gallon of water which is basically one to two teaspoons for every gallon that you would need so depending on the size of what you're doing the presentations are also there so if it's a small farm that you have use a hundred mil bottle size if it is a large acreage that you do your applications on weekly then of course use the larger chemistries i must say to those farmers who have taken the challenge on to grow sweet corn or whatever corns it is that in the cab also is the chemistry for you the re-entry period now i must say to you farmers and viewers observe these protocols the safety side of the equation is there to protect you and your family and your customers the re-entry period is 12 hours so after you sprayed in the cab 12 hours must lapse before you re-enter the field why is this to be observed because you have the chemistry still being on the plant surfaces and should you interact with the, the, the plants then it will be on your skin and of course your skin your eyes your hands and other parts of your body are entry points for these chemistries and of course you know that should you be continuing to do this then of course it can lead to other health concerns now the other aspect of safety i want you to observe is your pre-harvest intervals on the bottle it is shortened as phi this should be observed now note carefully that for broccoli cauliflower corn peppers tomatoes lettuce and eggplants it is seven days so should your crop be maturing you know your fields if your crop is maturing then ensure that the last moment you spray you can wait seven days for that harvest now what does that mean it means that the chemistry would have been fully broken down by sunlight or it would have been totally absorbed or removed from the plant system hence it is now safe to consume for crops such as potatoes the pre-harvest interval is 14 days now farmers i stress safety and safety and safety ensure that while you're applying our chemistries that you are wearing your protective gear that being your respirators your goggles your coveralls your water boots so as to ensure that you can benefit from the harvest at this point in time we'll be taking questions i'm sure that you would have been wondering how can i get this chemistry or where or how does it fit into my regime feel free to drop us a line so we can respond accordingly now in the car of course is available at our local farm stores so depending on your geography wherever you are bear in mind indicarb can be accessed whether be it a small farm store or a large one and if it is not carried impress upon the store owner to say listen i want indicarb as a part of my pest management program are there questions at this time yes there's a question from Question or a statement from Instagram. Yes. M.C underscore agri tech. Farmers will use this product all the time until the pest develops resistance. Well, bear in mind, farmers, as I had mentioned earlier, and I did show you three, two other chemistries that can be used. So a part of your resistant management program, simply meaning rotation, rotation, rotation. All that we recommend is that if you apply in the carb say today to control or to reduce your pest, pest numbers you can move to something else that is not similar in its active ingredient so once the active ingredient is not in the carb like in the carb then you can go ahead and apply i did show you car tracks as a chemistry that you can use in between and of course you also have the choice of mimic now, I did point out, and I must refer to that point also, and that is in the carb, based on the formulation that we've worked on and developed, limits the capacity of the pest population to become resistant. But nonetheless, still rotate your chemistry. 
And the same person was saying, what's the active ingredient in Indicarb? Indicarb active ingredient is Indoxicarb. And the, it is 14.5% and it's a, what you call a soluble concentrate. Question from Gag and Smith. Can this product be used to control beet armyworm? I, how could I have forgotten this? Beet armyworm, be it skeleton or be it tomatoes or whatever the crop, it can be utilized. Now, how the chemistry operates will allow you to gain control. Bear in mind that it works by translamina action. How beet armworm behaves is that when they come out in their first instar, if they are on skeleton, they will penetrate the leaves and go on the inside. Given the translaminar activity of Indicarb, you have control almost instant because it moves through the plant tissues and will control beet armworm. So to answer your question, yes it can. If you have instances where you have melon worms, generally when it's coming closer towards the summer, you have melon worms coming out. They might be on your cucumbers, you might find them in your pumpkins. Indicarb can be used as preventative as well as for immediate control. So should you find a need for those who are growing pumpkins or should you find a need if you're going skeleton and you do have beet armworm, you can move for Indicarb. Um, oh, can I use Indicarb on the adult moths? Good question. Indicarb controls various levels or stages of the population size as well as the growth stages. So eggs, the larvae and the adult. You do get knockdown control and if you control the moths which are, which are the adults then of course the other stages are indeed controlled. So yes, you can apply Indicarb and gain control of the adults or the moths. Another question from MC Agritech. Is Indicarb compatible with other products such as soluble fertilizer and fungicides? A beautiful question. Um, the formulation allows it to be applied with a wide range of chemistries, be it the fertilizers or be it fungicides. You have a wide range that it is compatible with. Now, should you be concerned and might be wondering if it can be applied, here's a simple technique that you can do. If you have a measuring cylinder or a clearing of jar or water bottle, you can apply the required rate into that water, say a liter, and then shake or agitate. Now, once you see what we call precipitation or separation of the mixture, then there is some degree of um, antagonism going on, so it won't mix. But in the carb, usually mixes right throughout. So you can do that to determine whether, but for the most part, what we've observed, we have complete homogeneous mixtures, be it with fertilizers or other fungicides or insecticides. Question from YouTube, Brazy Brown. I log in late, but for cabbage, what should I use with Indicarb? Was it Cytoplex, Fortify, and Calmax B? All right, so depending on the stage of your cabbage, um, you can apply by 20 in the earlier growth stages with Fortify, and as it starts to cigar or the head starts to form, then you can go Fortify with Calmax B. Now, when you do that combination, what you're actually getting on the end result is tighter folding heads and heavier heads. And of course, the more compact they are, the more marketable the weights. So it can be applied in your specific program. Now, I must say to you, given your location, you can reach out to us um, via the, our, our cell numbers or our land, hot, our land lines, which is 757 for one of our agronomists to visit you at your farm. Question, how long after I spray my cabbage or lettuce with Indicarb can I reap? Okay, so I go back to my previous slide, which is the pre-harvest intervals. These are located to the back panel of your pesticide bottle, but bear in mind that Indicarb has a seven to 14 day pre-harvest interval. So for cabbage and lettuce, it is seven days and for potatoes, it is 14. And should you not remember, refer to your 
neck labels that come with your package or to the back panel of your bottles. What time of day is best to apply in the car? Now, while it is ideal to spray in your later afternoon or early mornings where you have less movement of your pest, bear in mind that the afternoon is most ideal because all insect pests would have either been coming back home or they would have been a little bit restless from having moving about during the entire day. So the afternoon period is ideal. However, should you find the need to apply throughout the day at a particular time or if that is the time that you have available, then you can go ahead and apply. But most pest activities, it is best to spray in the late afternoon. That is ideal because the less movement and you have better contact and less evaporation of your chemistries. And this is, of course, a general rule for all classes of pesticides, be it fungicides, herbicides, or insecticides. Late afternoons are best. Final question I see here. Can you remind me of the application rate for Indicarb and how often do I apply? Now, Indicarb can be applied at one to two teaspoons, and this range is given based on the levels of infestation. So should you have a very high population, you can introduce at five, and if you are getting control, then you can work with one teaspoon or five mils per gallon. Now, if the population is so high and you want a quick knockdown, then you can introduce at two teaspoons and then go back to the lower end. So one to two teaspoons per gallon, depending on the pest population, as well as the size of your crop and your target pest all right so if there are no more questions oh, there's a question from sure. agritech um, from instagram mm -hmm. do you offer an organic substitute for in in the carb all right so we have a product which is mimic um, not necessarily the show for it today but you did ask so i must say in the carb is what you call a growth regulator now this of course the active is a mimic it's actually a perfect solution for your domicile or for your farm it controls by preventing the insect pests from molting or growing larger and so should you find the need to go close organic or very much an organic setup mimic is the chemistry for you it prevents molting or accelerated molting and it also gives you a fairly good control. So in your control program, Mimic can be applied for an organic-based setup. All right, if there are no other questions, at this time we can do a short recap and we will close this afternoon's session. Now, as we would have noted, Indicarb is a SC formulation. This is a soluble concentrate. It is a contact insecticide with translaminar action, meaning that it, once it comes in contact with the insect, you have control within that time frame, or it has what you call a high residual action. So if they were not present and visited the field, then you would have control. Now, bear in mind also that you get knocked down for, of different stages of the growth cycle, whether it be the adults, which are the moth, also the larvae or on the egg stages. So you have various ways and things. Now, we would have done several trials so as to prove the efficacy of the chemistry by using it in lettuce to control thrips, which is a serious problem at this time. We use it in cabbage to show that we can get clean cabbage from the start, growing it right through without having any stripping, or little or no stripping at the end. And we've used it to control taro leaf hoppers, which are at this time a serious problem in Dashin. So thank you for joining us. Do remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I hear that there's another question. So since we're here, let's go. From Instagram, Tyrone Anderson one. 
What is the required rate for IndyCarb for best thrip control? Okay, so for insect such as strips, there is a strategy in doing the application, Tyrone. You must spray in the heart because that's where they're living. Now, you can apply it with a juvent or without. A juvent such as your exit or new film P. A teaspoon per gallon of water is sufficient to gain control. Now, should the trip be transmitting the virus already? Bear in mind that a, a biostimulant such as Bio20 and Cytoplex can be applied to the mixture to help the plant to overcome that stress as well as to grow out the condition. So, one teaspoon per gallon and you can add your growth regulators, your biostimulants to it. We might add um, MC Agritech. Yes. He may have made a comment. He said, great, thank you, an excellent presentation. Well, thank you, MC Agritech. I'm looking forward to visiting your holding and seeing what you're doing there. Um, do reach out to us. Bear in mind, farmers, that we are accessible. And as I would mentioned to you earlier, we are in the field, so we are in the know. We are the grow to people, you know. We say, let's grow. So once you have a challenge, reach out to us. We'll find you wherever you are. No farm is too big. No farm is too small. Be it a backyard or be it two to 300 acres. We are there for you. Thanks for joining and see you next time. What good. Remember, COVID-19 is still upon us. Bear in mind to wear your mask and to do your hand sanitizer so as to be safe. See you next time. Indicarb, a superior worm control product that controls both caterpillar and eggs. Indicarb effectively controls pests such as cutworms, armyworms, lupus, diamond bat moth, fruit worms, leaf miners, thrips, aphids, taro leaf uppers. Indicarb is used in crops such as leafy vegetables, peppers, corn, tomatoes, potatoes, dasheen. Use Indicarb. You are sure to get excellent control.